Welcome to our lecture online. So how dense are the stars in a galaxy? Obviously when you look at a picture, and this is a picture trying to look outside the galaxy to take photographs of other galaxies, we can't help but have a lot of other stars in the way of that picture. So these stars that you see, all the little dots you see on, that, on, this, um, on this photograph, are stars in our own galaxy that are between us and the faraway galaxy we're trying to take pictures of. So how dense are they? And of course, this is a picture that makes it look like it's a two-dimensional picture, that all the stars are the same distance, but that's not the case. Some of the stars are close and other stars are far away. So how many stars are packed with a particular volume? Well, one way we can do, one thing we can do is figure out how dense the stars are where we live, near our sun. And so if we take our sun at the center, and then we draw a circle of a radius of 15 light years, because that's what Hertzsprung and Russell did. They took the sun, and then they tried to figure out the distance of the stars nearby our sun, and they were able to use the method of the parallax method to find the distance of these stars. They measured the distance of the 15 uh, to the 100 nearest stars within a radius of about 15 light years. So sure enough, the volume of space around us that contains uh, 100 stars is about the volume that has a radius of 15 light years. So let's calculate the number of stars per unit volume, so to speak, and let's let the unit volume be a cubic light year. So we take the number of stars divided by the volume of the sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and of course the r of it will be then 15 light years. So how much is that? So we have 4 divided by 3 times pi times 15 cubed equals, I get 100 divided by 14,137. So let's take the inverse of that, times 100, and so we end up with, hmm, that gives us, well, this would be equal to 0 0.007 stars per one cubic light year. So if you take a cube of one light year by its side, so one cubic light year, you only have 0 0.007 stars. That's not very many stars. How about the other way around? Let's do the density in terms of number of cubic light years per one star. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to take the inverse of that. And that shows me that there's 141 cubic light years per one star. So the density in our own neighborhood means that we have about 141 cubic light years of space. That's a lot of space for every one star. Well, the nearest star to us is over four light years, so that makes sense because four times four is 16 times four is 64. So just that kind of gives you the ballpark that that seems to be kind of correct. So it, it just so turns out that where we live in our Milky Way galaxy, it's not quite that dense. We've learned like in global clusters that things could be way more dense than that. And at the very center of our galaxy, obviously there's way more stars packed very, very close together. So this is not very dense. And the reason for that is that we don't really live on one of the major spiral arms. We kind of live on a little side spiral arm, a like little side piece of spiral arm, where there's not that many stars in that particular region. So that seems to be the density in our particular neighborhood. But we know there's other places in the galaxy where it's far more dense, and we'll get to that in, in, a, in another video. This at least gives us an idea. In our backyard, we get a lot of cubic light years for every star in our neighborhood. Well, not really, because, uh, you know, if you go 4 by 4 by 4 and get 64 cubic light years, that's yeah, only... 5 by 5 is way too big. Well, 5 by 5 by 5 is uh, 20, that's 125. Oh, so it's more than 5 by 5 by 5. So it's more than 5 by 5 by 5, but remember, we're only looking in the distance from here to the nearest star in one line direction. If you go in other directions, it's farther to the next nearest star. So stars are kind of spread apart quite a distance where we live. So this is just... This is taking a sphere of radius of 15 light years and realizing there's 100 stars within that sphere. From, from where we 
from where we are. Yeah, so that means in our neighborhood where our sun is, there's about 100 stars in a sphere with a radius of 15, 15 light years.